Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Hiba and I am the sub-chair of the Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Committee for District 5360. Um, I'm really excited to begin my takeover this week. Today we're going to be talking about what being a Muslim is like, details on the niqab and hijab, and if you stick around till the end, I'll even show you my favorite hijab style, but that part of the video is completely optional. Um, it's just for you to get a little bit more insight about my life. I do want to give you a disclaimer that my videos are based off of my lived experiences and resources that will be provided in our newsletter. Um, and please do keep in mind that my experiences are unique just like everyone else's and they may not be similar. So if you're ever wondering about what someone's outlook is on culture or faith, asking them about it is always more preferable than you forming an assumption or even sometimes a prejudice. Um, for example, if someone were to ask me why I wear the hijab or why I'm Muslim, I'd love to have a conversation about it. And I actually do appreciate uh, one's curiosity when these occurrences often happen. Uh, because instead of assuming something or judging something about me, they actually came up to me and they asked about it. And I love having those conversations. Um, so yeah, with that, feel free to leave comments below about any questions you have from me and feel free to share more about your culture, faith, or ideologies in the comments. I'd love to learn more from you and yeah, let's get into the video. Just to give you some perspective on my journey, I was born in Canada and am the daughter to the most amazing and hardworking parents that immigrated here several years before I was born. My heritage is Pakistani and I follow the religion of Islam. Growing up, I was often confused about what my identity was because my parents did not grow up in the same country as I did or the same circumstances I was in and it often felt like I was juggling multiple identities. For instance, I didn't understand why the kids at school celebrated different holidays than me. My parents taught me my mother tongue which is Urdu and I also had to learn English. Balancing religion, multiple cultures, and languages was overwhelming. But once I started to embrace myself for who I am and took pride in my roots, life started to make more sense and I was able to form my own morals. People that come from different cultures, roots, or faith can often relate to this because our setting at home is a lot different than our setting at school. Um, I encourage you to embrace your heritage and learn more about it because that is what makes you unique. You shouldn't be ashamed of it. And unfortunately, children at school and even adults in society discriminate against those that have different beliefs from them and this should not be tolerated. I have been there and it just makes the journey to self-confidence a lot harder and makes people ashamed of themselves when they should be embraced. My religion is like a guide to me. We all prioritize different things in life and as long as we're not hurting ourselves or others, our ideas should be embraced by society. Now, I would like to give you a brief overview of what Islam means. Islam is one of the three Abrahamic faiths alongside with Judaism and Christianity. Muslims are the followers of Islam and follow the recitations of the Quran, which is a sacred book, and they believe that there is one God. There are two different groups of Muslims, which are the Sunnis and the Shias. I'm not going to go too much into the details on this, but please let me know if you have any specific questions. Muslim customs involve celebrating Eid and fasting in the month of Ramadan from sunrise to sunset, which includes spiritual reflection and self-improvement. There are a lot of misconceptions in the media about Muslims, so it is really important to reflect on our perspectives and change them if necessary. When Muslims greet each other, we say assalamu alaikum, which means peace be with you. There is no intention to harm in this religion, but instead to spread peace. Also, spiritual relationships are super personal and should not be judged. Once again, religion is a guide in a way of life that should be a personal choice. Now let's talk about the hijab. The hijab is a head covering often worn by Muslim women in front of men who aren't a part of their family. So unless you're a girl, a member of my family, or my husband who is non-existent, 
No, you cannot see my hair. The hijab is worn in order to preserve a woman's modesty and privacy. It is not just an accessory. The niqab is another form of modest dressing, but it also covers more around your face. Both modest ways of dressing are symbolic of religious faith and resisting idealized beauty standards that are set from women. It stands for embracing the beauty of everybody. This is why it resonates with me so much. I started wearing it around four years ago and it was by my personal choice. I was not oppressed or forced to wear it in any way. I wore it because it made me feel confident in my skin and in my roots. Also, just because one woman wears it and another woman doesn't, that doesn't make any of them better than each other. Faith can be practiced in many ways and is a personal experience. Unfortunately, hijabis face lots of hate crimes and judgment in this day and age because they visibly, visibly identify as being Muslim. I have never faced anything super extreme, but I have received racist comments and judgment from others. Islamophobia exists and is the exaggerated fear and hatred toward Islam, which is portrayed in biased attitudes, acts of bias, discrimination, bias-motivated violence, and genocide. This is preventable if we accept each other for who we are and educate ourselves. The first thing that you do is you tie your hair up into a bun and then I like to wrap a scrunchie around it for extra volume but that's totally optional. Um, and then I put it all into this hijab cap. Um, it's just like a tube cap um, that just keeps everything in place and it keeps your hair from falling everywhere. Um, and then I put the scarf on top and it's folded like a quarter, not just like pressed on. I just like this extra little round edge that comes on with it. And then I leave a short side and a very long side. Um, the short side just goes underneath this long side when you like wrap it over. You could leave your scarf dangling like this or you could wrap it all the way around, which is what I usually do depending on my outfit. Um, yep, and then you just kind of adjust it as you go. And I use two straight pins usually, or you can even use three. Um, so I just pin it behind my ears, and the trick is you're not pinning it to your head, don't poke yourself. You're pinning it to the cap. Um, so yeah, I just pin those two pins behind my ears. Be careful not to poke yourself. Trust me, I've done it many times. It's not a fun time. So yeah, just be careful if you're trying this. Um, and then I just put on my favorite earrings, which are usually hoops. It's hard to put on hoops without a mirror. <laughs> and then yeah, there you go. This is just what I do every morning. It doesn't take too long and it's not too hard. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and tuning in. I hope to see you very soon in my next video.